Hi, now I'll show you how you can do the same thing like we did in previous lecture, but with slightly different tool. So let's start. First we want to duplicate layer. Right click on it, choose duplicate layer, name it and click OK. Now we will use clone stamp tool. You can find it here in toolbox or you can simply use keyboard shortcut S. Clone stamp tool is very important tool in Photoshop and it's amazing. It's also useful for duplicating objects. We can right click and choose size and hardness, but first we need to understand how it works. To start with clone stamp, it's required to set the sampling or target point. If you don't do that, when you click, you'll get an error like this. This tool is taking target point and cloning it wherever you want. To set the target point, you need to hold Alt key or Option key on the Mac and click. So now we can move this area wherever we want. We will use this tool for removing this chair. So let's start. As you can see, we are getting good results. We can set the target point more times from different locations, so we don't get a repeating pattern here in snow. When you make a mistake, you can click on Ctrl Z or Command Z on the Mac to undo. Now I will show you why it's important to work with lower hardness on this photo. I will right click and change it to 100%. As you can see, I'm getting some circles with hard edges and we don't want that. So I will bring it back. And as you can see, I'm getting more softer edges. I think we've got an amazing result. Now I will show you comparison for tools that we used. Using clone stamp tool required more time, but as you can see we've got a better result. And that's it for this lecture, so see you in the next video.